father's going to lose 300,000, not because of me, because of the ghost. Bar Rescue is an American reality television show which features John Taffer, a longtime food and beverage industry consultant specializing in nightclubs, bars, and pubs. The series premiered its debut in 2011 on Paramount Network. In over several seasons, John has attempted to save many bars. Some failed while others thrived. On the show, John attempts to rescue bars that are going under. He offers his expertise with additional tools and renovations to save the bar from closing, and to help owners out of massive debts. While there's been a ton of rescues and a number of failed rescues and walkouts, there is one bar rescue episode that never got released. The episode is named Music City Mess, and it featured the Pit and Barrel Bar in Nashville, Tennessee. John Taffer showed up to the bar in September 2013 and renovated the building, but two months later, tragedy struck. I will carry the memory of that horrible night forever. I wish every minute of every day that I could go back and do it differently. It took a jury less than two hours to return a verdict for Chris Farrell. He's the man accused of gunning down a local country singer, Wayne Mills. Chris Farrell was charged with second degree murder. On November 23rd, 2013, singer Wayne Mills went to the bar for an after party following a tribute concert to the musician George Jones. Around 5 a.m. in the morning, Wayne got into an altercation with the owner Chris Farrell. As Wayne turned to leave, Chris fired a .22 handgun three times, with the third shot hitting Wayne in the head. Wayne later died in Vanderbilt Hospital from the wound. Farrell claims he did this in self-defense after the two got into an argument about Mills smoking in a non-smoking area. This event occurred shortly before the episode was supposed to air, one day to be exact. As a result, Paramount Network, known as Spike TV at the time, had a haste for the episode to be pulled from airing. They pulled the episode's scheduled airing but not the repeat in the middle of the night. This caused an uproar amongst the show's fans. Paramount has pulled down unofficial leaks of the episode on the internet, but I found most of the episode split in two parts, a 16 minute clip and a 22 minute clip. So will the complete episode be possible to find? The answer is yes, but it's going to be difficult. As previously mentioned, the episode has been leaked online only for Paramount to take it down. Here we are guys, boondocks. In the episode, John Taffer is accompanied by Kevin Bloodsoe and Trevor Fry. John explains that the bar owner, Chris, has enough money to just make it for two weeks, or else he will be forced to close the bar down. This might be the toughest rescue we've ever done, and here's why. This is a guy who took $105,000 from his parents. Mm. This guy has enough money to make it two more weeks. Two weeks? Mm. Where he's done. No one ever comes here now, and right now I'm losing approximately $10,000 a month. And it doesn't make me the easiest person to get along with. Like it, go over there and with the rest of the I don't care right now. Since January, we've lost at least 10 bartenders. John tests the bar by sending 80 people inside, and the bar fails miserably. The bar was never set up for business. During the attempted service, Chris and the manager Stacy got into an argument over a broken toilet. Look at this. Chris is losing his cool. He's yelling at Stacy. She tries to keep it together for him, but without his support, she ain't doing it. People pulling me in 12 directions, I might be able to do that. I don't care right now. The bathroom was repulsive, the kitchen wasn't any better, and the bar was moldy with the floor being covered with rat droppings. And the nastiness continues. The next morning, the employees are busy cleaning the bar and John Taffer arrives, but it doesn't take long for Chris's temper to flare up. After being confronted by former employees, it leads to him driving off in a rage fit. Get her off my property. I'm out of here. While training, Chris comes back and peace is made for the time being. The fact is, balance co You're back. I have been trying to redefine those points in my personality where I am not so abrasive. Every one of you mean a lot to me. I'm sorry. During the stress test night, it unsurprisingly fails again with Chris arguing with his staff about food not getting out of the kitchen. The next day, Chris's parents arrive asking for him to not be mean. After this, it seems as if he got rid of his temper. 
The staff are trained extensively, and the bar, now aimed at younger consumers, is renovated for relaunch. The bar's name changed to Pit and Barrel. Relaunch night is successful, and things appear to be going good for the bar. Sadly, though, the murder happened, and this episode was scrapped. According to the Lost Media Wiki article, this episode was reportedly available in its entirety on Vimeo. After the murder of Wayne Mills, Chris was sentenced to 20 years in prison, with the bar closing down and was liquidated. According to the owners of the American Executive Center across the street, the building was sold sometime in 2015. For a while, the building remained standing with boards over the windows and no trespassing signs posted. Finally, in the summer of 2016, the building was demolished, with the fans and family of Wayne Mills wanting the demolition, so the memories of the tragic event would be erased. There was another episode of Bar Rescue Deemed Lost, but it was just an unaired pilot episode. This episode, unlike Music City Mess, was intentionally aired later and can now be watched online. The pilot episode was aired as a Season 3 episode, and Music City Mess also appears to have been planned as a Season 3 episode. However, I don't expect this episode to be aired, unfortunately. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Talk. Continue searching for Lost Media, and I'll see you next time.